Let's get started with looking at our Schoology landing page and seeing what we can do to make the initial visit into Schoology a little easier to navigate for everyone. Imagine we are a student or parent entering on day one. What do we see? Will we end up on the Recent Activities tab or the Course Dashboard? This all depends on the setting of the student user. This would be a great tip to go over with your student's initial setup. To change this, click on the profile picture, go to Settings, and then be sure that you are on the Account Settings tab. You'll scroll to the very bottom. You'll select Recent Activity or Course Dashboard, and then you will select Save Changes. For younger students, I may suggest landing on the course dashboard that will lead them right to all of their courses. For older students, they might enjoy being on the recent activity tab. This has a newsfeed style of recent activity. It's got reminders of different announcements or things that may have been placed in their teachers Schoology courses and it's in order of most recent to older. When we click on our Courses tab at the top, it will be in order of joining or creation, not necessarily in class order. And once you have too many courses, they will not all show. Students can also be taught how to reorder the courses in a way that works best for them. We clicked on Courses. We'll go over to the right and click on My Courses. We will come down to Reorder Courses and then you drag the boxes of the courses into the order you would like them to be in. So let's take this first period. I have a second period. I have a third period. And I have a fourth period. After you drag, you'll be able to see the 12 that will be viewable. You'll see if you have more than that, that you know these courses will not appear in the courses drop down box. They still are viewable to be seen, however. Now, when I go click on my courses, You'll see that my top row has my first, second, third, and fourth class. I could do my fifth through eighth here, or depending on what your A day or B day schedule looks like. You'll always see your top 12. And in order to see more than that, you simply have to click on my courses and all of your available courses will be viewable. So that's our first look at when a student arrives, where they might land and what they might see when it comes in terms to their courses.